What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying your lives to the fullest today. Today we are reviewing the 2023 Cadillac CT5 V Series. Huge thank you to Mike Dwyer over at More Cadillac of Chantilly, Virginia for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular CT5 V Series or any Cadillac product, I'll be sure to have Mike's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. I definitely have the elements working against me here today. It just rained a little bit and it seemed like there was just like a touch of hail as well. Like not like damaging hail, but like almost like snow. It was kind of interesting. Um, so elements are definitely working against us. We got the wind, we got the dark clouds, but it seems like we have a little break in the sky. So I'm going to try to knock out the exterior part of the video as fast as I can. So without further ado, let's jump right into the exterior and performance. So like I said, this is a 2023 Cadillac CT5 V series. And this particular one has been painted in the $625 Rift metallic paint, which by the way, looks very good in the direct sunlight. But as you guys can see, don't really have any direct sunlight here today, but let's jump back into the video. The first thing I wanted to mention has to do with the hood. I like how it has a low key yet aggressive hood design to it with the different body lines. So you got this rather aggressive body line on this side, and then you have like this kind of hood bulge, and I'm not sure how well it's gonna pick up on camera. I like that little bit of sun, kind of highlights the shadows. It looks really, really sweet and just gives this thing an ultra sporty design. But let's hop into our headlights. So with the CT5 V series, you guys do get LED headlights with IntelliBeam. IntelliBeam is just a fancy way of saying automatic high beams. You guys also also get LED daytime running lights and this is your LED daytime running light strip. You also do get LED turn signals. This is your LED turn signal strip. And then with the $3,920 premium package, you guys get front LED cornering lights which are located right there. So basically at 15 miles an hour, if you guys turn the steering wheel to the right, this light will turn on. This is the right side of the vehicle. If you guys turn the steering wheel to the left, the left side of, this, uh, of the vehicle light will turn on just to give you guys some better illumination to the side in which you are turning. And then if you guys are going 35 miles an hour and you turn your right turn signal on, again, that will turn back on just to give you guys better illumination at night around corners and stuff like that. But highlighting the V series because after all this is the CT5 V series what you guys get with the V series is this super sporty gloss black mesh grill as well as a black grill surround you guys also do get gloss black lower and outer grills so this is your lower grill that's your outer grill right there get the same thing on this side as well I love the mesh grill uh, design that Cadillac has pretty much on all their models now especially with the Escalade and here with the CT5 V series and then one thing that's really cool in my personal opinion towards the bottom of your front bumper you kind of have like a two-tone kind of splitter design so you guys have this gloss black trim piece that runs all the way across and then at the center of the front end you have this white body color um, trim piece and it kind of gives it again like a two-tone front splitter design and I really like the way that it looks and I'll give you guys a little view of that as I step back there so you guys see what I'm talking about uh, I really like that kind of like two-tone design but back into the center of the grill you guys do get your Cadillac logo again at the center of the grill and then this particular vehicle does not have this option but you guys can get a 360 degree view camera system but you guys do have to option the six thousand five hundred and forty dollar platinum package in order to get that system so if you guys did get that system you had to have a forward-facing camera located about right there but again this one is not optioned with that package. However, this one does get four forward facing sensors on the front end. So you get one right there, 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 and over here as well. And obviously you guys do get a side marker light on that side of the vehicle. You also get a side marker light here on the driver's side of the vehicle, which it is illuminated at the moment taking a step over to the right this particular v series has been optioned with the 600 dollars 19 inch diamond cut android satin finish wheels these wheels are wrapped in a 245 40 michelin pilot sport 4s tire i'll give you guys a view of the tread pattern on the tire uh, as best as i can but one thing i really like about michelin's is that and this is just a funny little thing but i do think that the michelin sidewall looks very very good and is almost kind of like a flex to have on your vehicle again i just think that they look really really sweet and uh you guys can see they're an ultra sporty looking tire now with the v series you guys do get a magnetic ride control system as well as brembo front brakes 
So that is a look at your Brembo brakes, just poking behind your 19 inch wheels again to give this thing a ultra sporty look. And by the way, with the magnetic ride control, this thing handles like a dream. Now, what is in focus on the camera is your V badge. So you guys get a V badge on your driver side front fender and obviously on your passenger side front fender as well. If this is not a sporty enough look for you guys with the body color mirror caps, you guys can get the optional black mirror caps, but that is a $195 option. But I think it would look pretty cool in my personal opinion. But as standard, you guys do get body color mirror caps with integrated LED turn signals. These side view mirrors are heated. Driver side mirror is auto dimming. You get your blind spot monitoring on the left hand side of your driver side mirror and over there on the right hand side of your passenger side mirror. You also do get a puddle light at the bottom of the side view mirrors, which is located about right there. It's focusing in on the camera right now, uh, which is very nice. And, uh, it just helps you guys, you know, see what is on the side of the vehicle as you step into the vehicle at night. Again, if you guys did want a 360 degree view camera system, you are gonna have to option for the platinum package. Again, the platinum package is a $6,540 option. However, if you guys did have that as an option, you will also have a camera on the bottom of the side view mirror. But again, this one is not optioned with that package, but let's do a little side profile action of the CT5 V series. I think this thing looks really sweet. I think it looks super, super sporty. And with the V series, you guys do get gloss black window trim, which I'll give you guys a little view of, which kind of complements the bottom of your mirror very, very nicely. So again, gloss black window trim. You guys do get body color door handles, but these door handles are illuminated with the $3,920 premium package. So if you guys see that little strip right there, that illuminates at night. Again, this does get keyless access. If you guys wanna lock the vehicle, you see that little silhouette of the Cadillac logo. If you press right there, I believe that will lock the vehicle. So now I believe the vehicle is locked. If I come up to it, it unlocks again, but pressing on that button, that will lock it. But really, really cool. I think the illuminated door handles are a pretty cool feature. And then again, with the V series, you guys do get these rocker moldings. They look super aggressive. Kind of give you guys a view of the aggressive uh, rockers right there. And as you guys can see with the V series, you guys do get these gloss black extensions. So I'm not sure how well the GoPro is gonna pick it up, but from about like right here, like this top piece is body color. And then you get those extensions with the V series and with the V series, they are in gloss black again, just to, you know, continue on with the bl gloss black front splitter design. It carries through the side profile of this thing very, very nicely. Do a little three quarter angle of it. That's what it looks like again. I think it looks super, super sporty, but also elegant at the same time. You guys do get a body color shark fin antenna. You guys also do get a rear window defogger, obviously. And then also with the V series, you guys do get this body color rear spoiler. So just to give it again, just the continuation of the V series look. Now, one thing I do wish that you guys could get as an option that I don't believe that you can, I wish you could make this uh, rear spoiler also gloss black, but I did not see that anywhere uh, as an option, but I think that would look really, really sweet. Again, just with the you know rockers, with this rear valence, and when with your front splitter as well, I think that would be a nice sporty touch to it. But you guys do get LED taillights back here. This is your Cadillac emblem. You get a black trim piece beneath your Cadillac emblem. You have your CT5 badging on the left-hand side of the trunk, and then you have your V badging over here on the right-hand side of the trunk, respectively. If you guys wanna black out this emblem, you guys can get the optional $2,795 Onyx package, which gives you the gloss black V badging nameplate. But I do wanna show you guys what the trunk looks like. So all you gotta do is find your Cadillac logo, put your hand under that, and then the lift gate will open up trivial you know a decent amount of storage space back here however there's really it's not the biggest amount of storage space that i've seen on a vehicle of this size but you guys will be able to fit what you need to back here no problem now get a little storage cubby on the passenger side of your trunk and then i believe if you open that up that is where you will find your battery one thing that's pretty cool with the v series you guys do get the v on your carpeted floor mats it looks really really sweet and then when you lift this up, you have your tow hook as well as this thing right here. So you do get a capless filler neck with the V. So if you guys run out of fuel, you put that in your capless filler neck and then you're able to fill it up with a gas tank. But 
that's about it for the trunk. Decent amount of storage space back there. You, uh, you guys will be able to fit what you need to. You get four backup sensors back here total. One, two, three, and four. You get a gloss black rear valance with two reflectors and a quad tip exhaust. And then at the center of like your main rear valance, you also get like a mini rear valance in body color. And then you have those three fins. One, two, and three again, just to continue on with that super sporty look that you guys get with the V series. And then last but not least, one more thing I wanted to point out is that with the V series, you guys do get a limited slip differential. So you guys are able to do burnouts and stuff like that. If that is what you wanted to do with this, you guys can get the V series with either rear wheel drive and or all wheel drive. The one we have here today is rear wheel drive. So you can have a little bit more fun with this one, obviously, than you guys could in the all wheel drive variant. But let me know what you guys think of the 2023 CT5 V series in the comments down below. Do you guys like the way it looks? Do you guys not like the way it looks? Do you guys not like the V nameplate? Do you guys wish they went with something else? Let me know in the comments down below, but let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that three liter twin turbo V6 that makes 360 horsepower and 405 pound feet of torque. It is mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in 4.7 seconds. If you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you guys can achieve 18 miles per gallon in the city, 27 miles per gallon on the highway for 21 miles per gallon combined with rear wheel drive. If you guys were wondering about the fuel economy with all wheel drive, just subtract one miles per gallon on the highway with all wheel drive. And then you guys get 18 city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway again with all wheel drive. But a couple things I wanted to say is thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. That has been a long time goal of mine and we have finally hit 10,000. So thank you guys so much. However, now that we hit 10,000, we are on to 100,000. So if you guys are enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. But again, if you guys are enjoying the video, give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But let's move into the interior. Moving into the interior, I apologize if there is any wind noise right now, but we're almost on the interior. Like I mentioned, you do get keyless access, so all you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle, and then the vehicle will open up. One thing that's pretty interesting, though, is that this is not like a door handle that moves. There's actually a pad located behind the door handle about right there that all you gotta do is put your fingers on it, and then the door will open up. Again, to lock the vehicle, all you gotta do is push on the Cadillac logo right there and the vehicle will lock. Now, a couple of the functions on the key fob, obviously you have your unlock and your lock functions, but you also get a remote start function and this button to open up your trunk. And obviously you have your panic function. One thing that's pretty cool is that with the V series, you guys do get a V key, which I think is really, really cool. But let's step into the interior. So I'm gonna press the unlock button, come behind, press on that little pad, and the door will open up to reveal a very, very nice interior. I'm gonna turn the headlights into automatic so they stop making that noise. Now, this particular V series has been optioned with the $1,500 jet black leather seating surfaces. And by the way, the leather feels ultra, ultra premium and it also looks really, really sweet as well. But taking a look at the driver's side door panel, you guys get some vinyl wrapping at the top of the door panel. Then you get some carbon fiber trim, aluminum door handle. This does have the 15 speaker Bose sound system, which sounds Phenomenal, by the way. It's the Performance Series sound system. And that is your Bose speaker surround in brushed aluminum. Looks very, very nice. Two memory seat adjustment settings. You get automatic up and down windows at all four corners. This particular V has not been optioned with the Platinum package. With the Platinum package, you guys would get a button to power fold in your side view mirrors. But again, this one has not been optioned with that. So you do get manual folding side view mirrors. But here are your power mirror controls. This button is to restrict your passenger window privileges. You get a nicely padded and leather wrapped armrest with some accent colored stitching in brown. Pressing on that button will open up your trunk. And then you get a decent amount of miscellaneous storage base at the bottom of the door panel. Really not all that much, but it says there's a spot right here that you could set a little umbrella. I'm not sure if you can pick that up on camera. Now you can see 
you got a spot you can set a little umbrella right there which i think is pretty cool and then one thing that i think is really cool with the 3920 dollars premium package you guys do get these illuminated front door sills that say v um, so the v itself is illuminated and it looks super super sick especially at night now taking a look at the driver and the front passenger seat these are 18 way power seats um, so you got tons of adjustability with these seats but also with that premium package the front seats are massaging so you get a lumbar massage which is really really cool now taking a look at the seats themselves they are that jet black leather wrapped but you guys do get some brown accent colored stitching and you get some like low-key brown perforated leather so like the seat itself like the this part of the seat is black but then if you guys can see like in the perforation um, you get some brown which I'm kind of picks up on camera, but I think it looks really, really good here in person. Then you also do get a thigh extension, uh, and it is a manual thigh extension. But let's step all the way into the interior. I wanted to show you guys what the V series is all about. So, starting at the bottom, you guys do get these brushed aluminum pedals, obviously, with the rubber. They look ultra sweet, and then you do get a floor mounted accelerator, which I think just adds to the sporty feel of the V series. But Let's fire her up. So all you gotta do, keep up in the interior, push your foot down on the brake, and then push the start. And then that is what it sounds like when it fires up. It actually has a nice little rumble to it, and it actually sounds better than I expected it to. So especially in sport mode, you get a nice little sound. The vehicle is already warm, uh, so I can rev it up. sounds really good guys especially here in person i'm not sure how well it's going to translate over the camera but it does sound very good but i am going to close the door and then we're going to start here then we'll work our way into the infotainment system and then all the way into those rear seats and then we'll get into the driving portion so buckle up and get ready for the video let's jump right into it all right starting with our controls on this side of the steering wheel you guys do get a electronic parking brake button right there this particular one does have the 2100 dollar navigation navigation package and what that gives you guys is built-in navigation with a performance data recorder and with the performance data recorder you guys can pretty much record you driving the vehicle so with that said you have a little SD card slot right there so you can save your drives if you guys are whipping around with your friends this little scroll knob is to brighten and or dim your gauge cluster as well as your backlit buttons and then with the $3,920 premium package you guys do get a head-up display system and here are your head-up display display control so I'm not sure how well uh, the head-up display is gonna pick up on the GoPro but it's located about right there and what you guys can do is you can move the head-up display system up you can move the head-up display system down you can adjust the different information that is displayed on the head-up display by pressing on that button right there so right now it's just the digital speedometer readout it's the digital speedometer readout and the speed limit sign now and now it's the digital speedometer readout and the rpm gauge so really really cool uh, and you got a couple different things that you guys can display on the head-up display and then this control is to brighten and or dim the head up display system itself you also do get a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel so you can pull it out you can push it up you can push it down and then you can also push it back away from you very very nice this is a look at the steering wheel itself it is leather wrapped uh, and it just it's got a really nice feel to it like when I was driving this to where I am at now uh, I just really appreciate the nine and three grip I also think the paddle shifters look very very nice but before we get into that kind of stuff I want to show you guys what the turn signal sounds like so let's go into here let's take a listen to our turn signal That is what your turn signal sounds like on the CT5V. This is also your headlight control stock. So right now headlights automatic, that's daytime running lights on. Flip that up all the way, that is headlights always on. And then you get this little A right here. Um, pressing on that will turn your IntelliBeam on or off again. IntelliBeam is just a fancy way of saying automatic high beams. Back to our steering wheel. This is what the steering wheel looks like. Again, it is leather wrapped and it is heated. The heated steering wheel comes a part of the premium package again for $3,920. 
dollars so it's a very nice feeling steering wheel you have like these metal feeling paddle shifters they look really nice um they also just feel really good they don't feel cheap by any means very very nice feeling paddle shifters we'll get into the paddle shifter response when we get into the driving portion of the review but on the left hand side of the steering wheel here are your adaptive cruise control settings adaptive cruise control comes standard with the ct5 v series you guys can get super cruise which is basically hands-free driving but that's like a nine thousand dollar option so adaptive cruise control is standard heated steering wheel button this is like your gap adjust so you can adjust the um you know intensity or the sensitivity of your adaptive cruise control as well as your automatic uh or automatic forward automatic braking system so you can adjust the sensitivity of that by pressing on that button right there that is to hang up on a phone call that is to speak to the vehicle but that will also pick up on a phone call let's take a listen to the horn that is what the horn sounds like. You can barely hear it with all of that Cadillac insulation. That is to go forward on a track. That is to go backwards on a track. And that will also switch between your different preset radio stations if you're on XM, AM, or FM. And then these buttons here, so this button and this button as well as the scroll knob are to control your 12 inch digital gauge cluster, which is customizable. We'll get into that in a minute. This will put you into my mode. So this is like your V button. So it brings you into, uh, I guess not my mode, but it brings you into your V mode, which basically uh, puts you into full kill mode so very very cool to have that button on the steering wheel and then that is to volume down that is to volume up and really that's about it for the steering wheel itself that is your windshield wiper control stock but let's now go throughout our digital gauge cluster so right now we are in our v mode we can adjust what drive mode we are in by this uh, mode selector here so if i go forward once you get your my mode and then you got your tour um, so a couple different drive modes we'll get into that here in a minute but i'm going to have it in tour mode and i'll show you guys what the gauge cluster looks like so this is the gauge cluster in tour mode you get your rpm gauge at the center so the rpm gauge is the focal point of your gauge cluster just again to give this thing a sporty feel on the interior from the exterior on in which is very cool get your digital speedometer readout right here that lets us know that we're in park you get your different temperatures um, you have your oil pressure stuff then you have um, what temp or uh, what psi your tires are at and then you have your g meter down here that's your coolant temperature gauge that is your fuel gauge that is your fuel range so we get 99 miles till empty you see that little arrow right there that lets us know that we fill the vehicle up on the passenger side and then all the way down here is our compass and then that is our trip timer stuff if i click over here to the right that brings us into V performance, as well as your driver assistance stuff, your audio stuff, your navigation stuff. I'm gonna go click into the screen that will give us full access into this stuff. So now this is your phone stuff, maintenance stuff. You get your different options. So you can go into your display theme. So you got your sport, you can go into tour and you can actually link this dependent on which drive mode you are in. So right now, link it to driver mode. Um, but I kind of like to keep it in sport because I think it gives a really sporty feel to it. And then there is one more mode that you can put it in and that is track mode. And then this is what track mode looks like. Again, just to give it a RPM gauge at the top. Personally, I think I like the way that the um, sport mode looks better or sport display theme looks better in my personal opinion. Uh, but this also looks really cool as well. But personally for me, I think I'd probably leave it in sport. Again, that's just personal preference. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of about it for the screen. We can go back over to here. You can go in between your different display warnings, head-up display rotation, et cetera, et cetera. Oil filter life, engine life, oil life, et cetera. Back over to here, phone stuff. Then you get your navigation stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Personally, I would probably either leave it on the trip, uh, trip information stuff. And then you can go to your ELSD coupling. I guess it's not gonna let me into that right now. Um, but anyway, you got a couple different cool things that you guys can go into, um, like this stuff. You got, you guys kind of get the idea. This is a very customizable screen. I'd probably keep it on my trip computer. Now working our way into our infotainment screen. This looks like a bigger infotainment screen than it really is, but this is a 10 inch infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto connectivity. So going throughout our screen, I think this screen looks more like a 12 inch screen screen but it is a 10 inch infotainment screen again with built-in navigation built-in navigation comes a part of your $2,100 navigation package so this is basically our home screen it reminds me very much of what you would find in like a GMC or a Chevy product with your audio phone navigation Wi-Fi hotspot this is a Wi-Fi hotspot capable vehicle you can go in between your different users settings wireless Apple CarPlay wireless Android Auto this is your second screen 
going into my Cadillac. Gives you accessibility into setting service appointments and stuff like that. Then you can bring your climate control stuff onto the screen. And then you have this little home button here, but you also have a home button located on the screen as well. So if I click that one more time, this is like your home home screen. So this is your home screen. Click that button. So this will bounce. You kind of have like two home screens, but pressing on that button, home screen, number one home screen number two you get your different shortcuts down here for your audio your phone your navigation and your climate stuff and then that is your ambient exterior temperature and the current time and that's you know kind of about it for that screen this screen works very very well it's very intuitive very easy to use if you guys have never been in a cadillac or a gm vehicle before i think you guys will be able to catch on to this screen within a matter of probably five minutes honestly and that might be even uh, on the more conservative side. It's very, very easy to use. I think you guys will be able to pick it up very easily, unlike what you would find in a BMW. BMWs are very, very hard to get used to with their infotainment screen. But you do get a vinyl wrap dash with some accent colored stitching. I think it looks really, really sweet. And then you get some carbon fiber trim over there. Coming down just a tad, you get your two HVAC vents. You get four HVAC vents total on the dash. That's one, two, three, and four total. This is your climate control stack with your climate control readout located down here. So they get your temperature for your driver, temperature for your passenger. Uh, and again, that is a look at your climate control stack. So from over here, all the way on is your climate control stuff. And I think these buttons look very, very nice. And then coming down a touch with the $3,920 premium package, you guys do get heated and ventilated front seats, both with three levels of adjustability. So this is your heated seat, three levels of adjustability. This is your ventilated seat, three levels of adjustability. And then that is to turn your parking sensors on or off. This is your hazard button. And then you have your lane keep assist on or off button right there. And then again, over to here, this is your uh, controls for for your ventilated and heated seats for your front passenger. Wireless charging pad located here, very, very nice. And then we can go in between our different modes. So you have a couple different drive modes. You got tour, sport, track, snow, ice, and my mode. Personally, for me, I'd probably drive this thing around in sport mode all the time because it sounds really good. So this does have an active valve exhaust system. So in tour mode, it behaves like you would want it to if you're taking a girl out on a date. However, if you flip it into sport mode, that's when you're driving with your homies on the back roads and stuff like that. It gives you a pop in between your shifts, which I'll show you guys um, later on on the driving portion of the review. I really like this vehicle for that reason alone. Now, when you put it into sport mode, it also tightens up the suspension. When you put it into tour mode, the suspension behaves more like a luxury car would so you get the best of both worlds really here but coming back over to here you get your traction control on or off button get your auto hold button right there which basically will hold your vehicle in place if you're stuck in traffic and you're tired of holding your foot down on your brake itself the vehicle will hold you in place by itself which very cool feature and then this is your auto stop start system on or off this is your transmission uh, gear shifter so if you guys want to go into drive push this button right here pull back that puts you into drive pull back one more time that will put you into manual mode push all the way forward for reverse and then push p we're pushing p to go into park this is your volume knob now one thing that i really like so my family had a 2013 cadillac srx with one of the first cadillac q systems and i gotta say that system was junk absolute trash However, starting in like 2019, I believe, is when they brought you into this system. And this system is awesome. So you get your volume knob. This button or the, this control knob here is to control your screen. You guys can see I'm controlling the screen. So this whole system right here is phenomenal. I love the way it looks. It's very easy to use and you have easy access while you're driving the vehicle. So you can still focus on the road. You can turn the volume up. You can go in between your different stuff uh, with this scroll knob here. You can bounce in between your phone stuff. You can bounce in between your navigation and then you can bounce directly into your audio stuff by pressing on that button right there. This system is phenomenal and it is a huge step up from what Cadillac's Q system used to be. I love the way that this thing works. Again, volume knob, that's to go back on a track, that's to go forward on a track, and then this is to control your infotainment screen. So these buttons are for your infotainment screen. I love the way that this thing works. You get two cup holders, you get a nicely padded and leather wrapped armrest with some accent colored stitching. Pressing on that button right here will open up your center fold down armrest. So you get a USB-C port, a USB-A port, an SD card holder. And then you got a great spot. You can set your phone while you're driving as well as a 12 volt power outlet. And then you get a quite a bit of storage space here, honestly, for the size of the vehicle. So I love how it's so driver focused. It only opens up on the driver side. Um, so 
this is a driver's car honestly for that reason alone going over to here you get a lockable glove box with quite a bit of storage space you get an auto dimming rear view mirror here are your OnStar stuff that lets you know if your passenger airbag is on or off you get a driver light you get a passenger light both are in led then you get your universal garage door opener that can open up three different garage bays individually and then this particular one has been optioned with the 1450 dollars ultra view sunroof so if i press this right here that will open up the different roofs now one thing i wanted to mention is that the only roof that will open up is this front roof that roof back there does stay fixed so this does slide and it also will tilt i'm not going to open it up all the way um, because honestly it's kind of hot out and actually the weather did turn around now we got sunny and blue skies which is very very nice you get a little clip right here you can set money registration business cards or any small paper product and then opening this up you get a vanity mirror with two vanity lights and let's see if this thing slides boom slides forward slides backward and that is a phenomenal reason to buy an american vehicle because you do not find that sliding visor in a german vehicle at least from what i've experienced with a bmw or audis and stuff like that now a couple different options that this has this has the 3920 dollar premium package and what that includes uh, are front massaging seats illuminated front door sills illuminated door handles heated front seats with a heated steering wheel you get also ventilated front seats then you get front cornering led lights you get the 12 inch digital gauge cluster and a head-up display this also has the 2100 navigation package which gives you built-in navigation and the performance data recorder and then last but not least this also has the 1450 dollar ultra view sunroof there are a couple more options that this vehicle has um, on the exterior this has the 600 wheels 625 dollar paint option uh, as well as I already mentioned this, but this has the jet black leather seating surfaces with jet black accents for 1500 bucks. Now let's talk about the MSRP. So the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 Cadillac CT5 V series is spec is $62,585. I'll throw the window sticker on screen. You guys can take a look at all the different stuff that this comes at. standard, warranty stuff, government safety ratings, et cetera, et cetera. You guys can take a look at what you want to. However, I am going to show you guys what's going on in those rear seats before we move into the driving portion of the review. So stepping into these rear seats, the rear door panel looks pretty much the exact same as what you would find in the front. One thing that I really like is that you got your unlock and your lock functions. You also have an aluminum door handle. You have your brushed aluminum speaker surround for Bose. Again, that system sounds phenomenal. I'll show you guys that in a minute carbon fiber trim you get some aluminum trim beneath that nicely padded armrest accent colored stitching automatic up and down window in the back which is very very nice and then you get a little little bit of miscellaneous storage base back here as well this is what your rear seats look like you guys do get a center fold down armrest i believe with two cup holders boom two cup holders you also get a nicely padded armrest as well i am sitting behind myself i am five foot nine i've got a little bit of headroom left uh, however if i was like six one uh, I probably have to duck my head down or like slide down the seat a little bit to be comfortable so my head isn't touching the roof. But sitting behind myself, I am five foot nine uh, and I still have quite a bit of headroom back here. So I'm still comfortable back here even being five foot nine. You get a spot you can set your dry cleaners. You get a little light and an O poo panel. Driver gets an O poo panel. Front passenger also gets an O poo panel. And obviously this passenger gets an O poo panel as well. This is the amount of leg room I have. I probably have a foot of knee room, uh, quite a bit of leg room. So this is what the leg room looks like from um, that perspective seat back pocket behind the driver's seat seat back pocket behind the front passenger seat you get two HVAC vents as well as a USB C port and a 12 volt power outlet located right there so you know I love how this thing is so sporty oriented I love the way that it drives I love the way that it feels it it's just an overall great package vehicle I mean from luxury car to sports car it does them both and it does them both very very well but before we end out today's video I do want to see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well so I will see you guys in the driver's seat so I just recorded the driving portion of the review but it didn't pick up on camera unfortunately so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do it exactly as I did it um, on the previous driving portion so just take a listen to the acceleration on this Listen to the between shifts, listen. You guys hear that? 
it sounds so so good and that is what is so good about this car is that it will do that it will do those beautiful shifts you can hear the bah, bah, bah. it's got that nice pop in between shifts um, and it just sounds so so good however if you don't want it to do that you just want it to be a regular cruiser now we're back in tour mode the valved exhaust made it a little bit quieter um, and now it's just going to drive like a luxury cruiser so that is what's so good about this vehicle is that it's a luxury cruiser but it also is a great sporty daily driver as well so those of you guys who are looking for a vehicle that's affordable that also looks really good it's got a great sound system it's got a very useful infotainment system that's got the wireless apple carplay it's got the wireless android auto i'd honestly recommend this vehicle to you guys i'm going to do just a mild acceleration here you see now we're in tour mode and it doesn't make those loud shifts but when you put it in sport mode that's when it opens up it's like wah, bah, bah, bah. and the 10 speed really just gets it in between uh different gears it keeps it in its power band it sounds phenomenal and i love the 10 speed at higher rpms like once you're at like you know 60 70 miles an hour and you're driving this thing it's like wah, bah, bah. it just continues to keep you in the power band and that's what's so cool about the 10 speed you know i just did this driving portion of the video and i'm not sure quite why um, my phone didn't record, but it didn't. And you know, that's the kind of stuff that happens here in, you know, the YouTube world. Uh, that kind of stuff happens, you know, you get prepared, you do the video and then you get home and then, you know, some of the video clips are missing. You're like, what, 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 what just happened? You know, so, and that's kind of just what happened to me right there. Um, you know, I just filmed a really good driving portion of the video and unfortunately my camera wasn't recording, but that is okay we're gonna do it again you know that kind of stuff happens in life you just roll with it and uh, you make the best of what you got so with that said I want to show you guys what the sound system sounds like with a copyright free song I would play normally like a song that I really want to play and you know this is still a good song so let's take a listen to this song it's got a bass drop to it um, and this kind of is gonna highlight how good the sound system really sounds so just take a listen to it I'm gonna turn it up uh, seem like every cat ain't gotta maintain the cat You can make change, don't change for that Tell the whole truth, get paid for that Bet you never fall off, you was made for that You gotta be who you really be shine from the inside The bass is so good I love the Bose sound system because it sounds so good it remains clear like it's got great clarity even in like the higher volumes but it also has bass so it has the bass it has the clarity and it's just a great sound system now this is probably one of the best sound systems at this vehicle's price point and in this vehicle's class now once you step up into you know like bmw's bowers and wilkins sound system those those sound systems cost like four thousand dollars you know this sound system comes standard with the ct5 v series so overall i think this sound system is great and that is something that i've always kind of highlighted about GM vehicles is that their Bose sound systems are great. You know, Bose is really kind of the best in the industry. I'm going to put this thing back into sport mode and into manual mode um, because I wanted to show you guys again what it sounds like. That kind of reminds me of like a BMW, you know, you also get a little bit of crackles, you know, very low key crackles like bah, 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 bah. Um, so let's take a listen and let's see how this thing drives around these straights or uh, these curves here excuse me so going around the turns it's got magnetic ride control and it just remains so so flat around these turns and that is what's so great about this vehicle is that it can do you know the twisties it'll do the twisties uh, but it'll also you know cruise on the highway at 80 miles an hour no problem like it's a luxury car which is exactly what it is now on my way over here i saw a camry trd and you know obviously that car is a little bit cheaper than this uh by like probably twenty thousand um, dollars but this thing's going to outperform that thing you know twenty thousand dollars worth you know what i mean on the interior this is a phenomenal interior the camry trd I, I don't even know why i'm comparing it to that um but i saw one and i'm like okay well you know 
that looks good, but you know, once you get into the interior of that, you're like, okay, well, this thing looks super, super dated, but you get into the interior of this thing, this thing feels futuristic. I love the gauge cluster. I love the RPM gauge focused at the center of the screen. That just really gives the thing a nice sporty vibe to it. But also, you know, I'm gonna take this thing out of sport mode and you guys will see, like, I'm gonna do a little acceleration here and you guys will see what I'm talking about. You know, in sport mode, it gives you those pops between the shifts, but then we do a little acceleration here in tour mode, listen. And you see, it just behaves like a luxury car would. And that is what's so nice about this thing is that it's kind of like a two-faced car. You know, it cruises like a luxury car, but at the same time, it can be, you know, a back roads carver. So, you know, this is a great, this is kind of like a Swiss army knife. That's kind of how I guess I could describe it. It's a Swiss army knife of vehicles because it's a great, you know, daily driver, but it's also a fun back roads cruiser. You know, if you're on a cruise um, with some friends and you don't you know, necessarily mean to rip it up, but then they start ripping it up, you will be able to keep up with them with this car. You know, that's, that's, that's how it is. It's quick, it's comfortable, and it's just a great cruiser, but it's also a great, you know, fun car if you want it to, you know, rip up the back roads and stuff like that. So overall, this thing is a lot of fun to drive. Um, and it's just an overall great vehicle. You know, you got the great sound system. You get a very intuitive infotainment system that works great with the wireless Apple CarPlay, with the wireless Android Auto. I love the way the gauge cluster looks. I mean, it just looks super, super sporty. But if you don't want it to be in this screen, you can put it into the tour theme. You can put it into the sport theme. You can put it into the track theme. So this is very you know, customizable to what you want. You know, what do you want the vehicle to do? The vehicle will do it for you, if that makes sense. So overall, man, oh, this is such a great daily driver. If you guys are interested in this particular vehicle, I'll have Mike's information in the description box down below. If you guys don't particularly like these wheels, they also have uh, another one with black wheels on the lot. So if that is something that you guys want, I'll have Mike's information in the description box down below. But that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I wanted to say thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. Again, that has been a long time goal of mine to hit and we have finally done it. But now that we've hit 10,000, we are on the journey to 100,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to be one of my 100,000 subscribers, please give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But again, that's it for today's video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.